I want you to imagine with me just for a moment, if you can, the instant the Lord formed you in your mother's womb. Now, imagine the moment the doctor tells your parents, I see a heartbeat. And as your parents turn their faces towards the computer screen, they remain fixated on that small pulsating glow in your chest. With every beat, they become more and more inspired to love you. Their eyes fill with tears of gladness. The smiles on their faces seem to have a never-ending glow. And any worries that they may have had seem insignificant in comparison with this moment. That small glimmering light fills them with hope and inspires them to live a better life. As they watch you grow, the same small light now fills their entire lives and only grows with every milestone. The moment you take your first steps, speak your first words, or even when you first walk up to them and say, Mommy and Daddy, I love you. There are no words in any language that can rightly describe the joy that fills their hearts. But as time goes on, the darkness of this world seems to cast a shadow over that light. With every moment of pain, heartache, loss, and suffering, a wall begins to form around your heart, one made of stone. With every sin experienced acting as a brick on that wall, the light you once had is finally blocked out completely. You now know only darkness and evil, and it is hard for you to shine like you once did. And it seems that no matter how many bricks you attempt to remove, another one takes its place. This darkness seems to act as a virus that spreads without mercy, as it hardens each heart it touches, and death seems inevitable. Yet, there is hope. In Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 26, the Lord says, And I will give you a new heart, and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. There is now a new moment. A moment when the stones of your heart come crashing down like the walls of Jericho at the sound of the Lord's presence. You are now filled with joy. Your face now shines like the sun. And all the worries that you may have had seem insignificant in comparison with the moment of your new birth. And just like your first birth had a small pulsating light, you now have a new light. Only this one cannot be blocked. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 through 16, Jesus says, You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand. And it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. In the same way that your light once inspired your parents to live better lives, the new light within you has a far wider reach. You can now bring that light to the millions of people who have been infected by the darkness of this world. And just like a match that has the ability to light multiple candles, the good works you perform can influence others to seek the one who gave you that light. The glory of the Lord's light can never be extinguished. So go forth into the world and glorify God with the light he gave you. I pray that this message inspired you to live for Christ. If you have any words of encouragement from the Lord, please feel free to share them in the comments below. And if you need help with any questions or prayer, please feel free to email me at servantofchristministries at gmail.com. Until next time, God bless.